I thought I'd already created the alliance, but I have now, apparently. So hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, where today we have the possibility of getting a unique creature, uh, participate in the new Ludlow uh, Manor, as well as uh, I've got my own alliance. So stay tuned. Let's get straight into it. So where do we begin with uh, the updates that have came out for just Jurassic games in general? So to start, basically we'll just do a whole overview. Um, Jurassic World Evolution got the, the newest DLC, uh, Do Secrets of Dr. Wu. Then Jurassic World the game got its first ever aquatic hybrid. And now Jurassic World Alive has turned into Clash Royale 100 million percent <laughs> because now we have alliances. So feel Feel free, this is um, the alliance that I've created, Beaver and Pals, of course, the best name ever. Um, so at the moment I've only, like, if we could, I, I don't want to be like too selective, but if you're an active player, um, because this is basically donations and stuff, this is, the, the new thing with alliances is, um, uh, the, the big thing is that cheaters or hackers or whatever, um, aren't allowed to participate in alliances, um, nor are they allowed to participate in uh, tournaments. So everyone who technically applies for this is a legit player. Um, so uh, yeah, if you if you want to, um, you can search Beaver and Pals, and maybe you'll be accepted. Uh, he, I just kind of want to make it like. Uh, it's like casual, we'll just like, you know, basically the thing with alliances, and I've probably said a million times, and I'm skirting around it, I know I'm a great, great guy, um, is that you can send each other uh, DNA, so a certain dinosaur DNA, so if I went off this, and I went into request, I can request any dinosaur that is a common and a rare, you can't uh, request a, a an epic or a legendary, so if you're in need of one of these dinosaurs, like I'm in need of Dilophosaurus, I could request that now, but I don't know, I'm going to accept more people before that happens, otherwise it might expire and I'll get nowhere. That is the biggest change to the game so far. I also have notes here um, on what is, because Ludius sent me all these notes, and I think some may have changed, some may not have, um, but basically... I was right. Um, I didn't want to level up Stegodus because I had a feeling that it was going to get nerfed. And boy howdy, did it get nerfed. Good, whether you think it's a good thing or a bad thing, I personally think it's a good thing because it was just way too strong. Um, it was like a tank plus utility type dinosaur with the clout of a, a sweeper. Um, so the one that's hit biggest is Stegodus because there has been a change to Superiority Strike. Originally Superiority Strike was a way for Ludia to counter the Raptor meta that was coming through, which was basically, you just have a full team of Pyraptor, Utah Raptor, Utah Sin Raptor, Velociraptor, and you would go first because they have the speed um, boost, they were so quick, uh, you would go for Pounce, doing a crud ton of damage, and then you could just switch out or go ahead and if you survive the next hit, just attack them because they've got 50% attack damage. So that was a really big uh, uh, problem. So what Ludi decided to do was input um, Stegodus, and which now will then, well, does still now have superiority strike. So the cleanse distraction, it's not made too clear here. It just says cleanse distraction. What does distraction mean? Basically, what, what, what cleansing or superior to strike now does, it cleanses only the pounce. So if it's lowered attack, if it's lowered speed, or if it's lowered, or if it's bleeding, um, it does not get cleansed. So now it will not see as much use as it used to. It's also had a little bit of a uh, attack damage down as well, as you can see. I think the health's still there though. Um, and also it's armor piercing strike has now had the armor piercing taken away from it. So it still does two times damage. I think it was always two times damage. I could be wrong. Um, but now uh, it only deals two times damage without the armor piercing. So, I mean, it still has a thag. It still has a short defense. It can cleanse itself. So it is still technically a raptor counter because it will um, minus the target speed and cleanse itself of any damage. So it will see use, but... Um, what, wait, what? The, mo <laughs> the most powerful of all Stegosaurs. This super hybrid's name means Roofed God. Well, it was also known as the Stegosaur God. And unfortunately, the Stegosaur God, whether you see it as a good thing or bad thing, has been dethroned. Um, that is really the only 
biggest downside that I can see to people like regular people who haven't got every dinosaur who can just switch out their roster because everybody invested in Stegodus and it has changed. Uh, also, have you noticed I've got like I've got a haircut, so now no longer does my hair go up to about here. <laughs> and it, she put paste in it? But anyway, um, so we got a lot of things to go over because not only um, have, have all the, these changes been taken place, but there has also been a bunch of new dinosaurs put in. Also, um, I will put in, because I recorded it, um, I put, I'll put in footage of me catching Indoraptor. Whichever way, I don't know where it is, it's gonna be- I always hate doing this, because I know in post I'm gonna be like, Oh my god, transferring it from my iPhone to a computer is such a pain in the ass. But, I'll do it just for you guys. Um, so, yeah, not too long ago, Interruptor was out. Um, I think I got like, 80? I did- I did pretty decent, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Uh, and also I'll put up the footage of when I first logged into this, because we got up to the lo- lo- oh, sorry, not lo- lo Lockwood Estate. Um, it give- it gave me like a, a unique- uh, incubator and I only really needed a, a few more bucks. I think maybe 2,000 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I never spend money on this game and I've never bought a unique incubator. Let's see if it was worth it. Um, so I'll, I'll also put that up somewhere left or right. I don't know where it is. Um, so that that was, it was kind of, um, it was all right for actual, if you had just got bucks and you saved up for it, fair enough. I'd be happy with that. But the fact that I had to pay real money just to get it a little bit, like, you know, to factor in the missing books. Um, I was like, yeah, it's okay. The only big one really was the T-Rex. I was like, 400 T-Rex, did it? Hell yeah, I'll take that. Um, and also we've got so many new hybrids and this is what I love. This is what I love about um, this game because when it first started, you had dinosaurs that you didn't catch. You deliberately didn't catch because they were rubbish. They had no hybrids, they weren't that great. La la la. La la di da di da. Um, but now they've introduced all of these hybrids that you can see here. Um, and they've also uh, buffed a lot of uh, dinosaurs. Sorry, I'll, I'll get So Utah Sin Raptor got one point extra in speed. Uh, so now it's, I mean, it's pretty darn quick. Um, ty ty so I'm reading this from MetaHub. So you can all, uh, you can read that if you want as well in more detail. Uh, Monostegatops got a huge buff. Its HP was boosted and stun stunning impact has become a greater stunning impact. So instead of having a 30%, it will now have a 90% is I think it's greatest stun. Also, um, like low stun chance. So the 10% chance has been taken out of the game because I think Ludia realized that if you ever get stunned by a 10% stun, it's so frustrating because it's so low. So now um, stuff like, so we look at Monostegatops, I don't think that ever had it to be honest, but now greatest stunning impact. So it's 1.5 and has a 75% chance instead of 1.5 and 30% chance. So Monostegatops, I said out of Monostegatops and Monomimus, Monostegatops is the winner. Monomimus has been completely nerfed. Uh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> I'm going back and forth. All the updates. We'll go over the dinosaurs first before we get into everything else. Um, so it's had, it basically it's, its health has been taken down. Its damage has also been taken down, I think. I think it's damage has been taken down. Um, I'll, I'll have a look. Hold on. There it was something here. Something about it. Uh, Monomimus. Yeah. It's uh, apparently Ludia set, called it a gross miscalculation. Um, and decided to drastic, drastically decrease its HP down. So it, they, they gave me all these notes. Like HP now is 2700. H, uh, speed is now this. It's like that's That doesn't help me Ludia. Just tell me what it was and what it was reduced to. That's all you need to tell me. And you're giving me like HP 2700. I've got it at level 20. It's HP is 2015. So you're giving me it's level 30. Just, 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 just tell me what, like what its average is. Not like it's level 30. I don't have a level 30. Um, so Monomimus got hit pretty hard. Um, other ones like Nodopatosaurus, Tanicolagrius, Ty, ooh. Oh, so these are winners. Sorry, these ones are winners. Um, so stuff like the Tristornics. Um, it's immunity becomes quite important. It's, HP, it's got an HP buff, so it can survive uh, Spiner to Sutures for two turns, so that's good. Um, as well as four points in speed. Um, the Spiner to Sutures, which is, if I remember, um, it's, oh god, there it is, the level 16. This guy, so it was very frail last time. Um, Spiders who didn't get, oh, change here, but it's now quite a prevalent dino in the meta due to superiority strike. It has that now? Wait, superiority strike nerfs. Oh, okay. So it wins overall because it doesn't get 
It's bleed. Oh god, almost almost lost the whole iPad there. That would have been great. <laughs> um, so yeah, now that superiority strike doesn't take away the wounding. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, back to the other dinosaurs, the new ones. Um, one of the, the biggest uh, pluses for me uh, that I love playing this game is that now, if a dinosaur doesn't have a hybrid, the, you, you still need to catch it. Or like, I'm doing Pokemon Go rules. Uh, you still need to work towards it because even if it doesn't have a hybrid, it might get one soon. So I said in the last video, a Langosaurus, I wouldn't, I wouldn't upgrade Utah Synraptor anymore. Just because I don't feel like there's a place for it at the moment. Uh, with all the other stronger raptors that are out there, like Pyrotator and stuff. Um, but, a Langa... Sorry, th th there's some really cool looking dinosaurs here. You can tell Ludia having so much fun. So this is Tarbosaur and um, Allison Sinoceratops, I think it is. So that's even stronger. And that's a unique uh, hybrid dinosaur. So that's worth getting. Uh, what, this, this one as well, this one's new, and I did get some of this DNA. So we got a Gen 2 uh, Draco Rex and a Gen 2 Triceratops. So now all that wasted DNA that we thought was wasted with the Gen 2 Triceratops has a purpose. The only thing standing in your way is basically gold. This thing as well, Lithornax, was up there with Iguanodon and people saying, I hate seeing that. And the same with P Purosaurus Gen 2. So this actually has a hybrid, but not only does it have a rare hybrid, it also has this one, a unique hybrid, making um, Gripos Griposuchus or whatever. It was even uglier with its head. It's like a Rudolph. It's, that would be really cool. Ludia, you listen, make Christmas costumes. I'd love to put like, make a little red nose in there and some antler horns. Um, so that's level 20. So that's, that's a big step up. Um, other ones, like we got some new dinosaurs like the um, Dimorphodon, which is now a common. Um, so now you've got um, which is basically, it kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what is it? It's in Jurassic World, the game. It, it looks like that hybrid in there. Uh, this thing looks absolutely totes adorbs. And it is Tenotosaurus. One of the dinosaurs with a Guanodon that we were like, oh, I never catch that because it doesn't have a hybrid. But this is a the unique version. This guy looks really cool as well, and it is Gen 2 T-Rex uh, with Gen 2 Dilophosaurus. So now there's so much diversity in the dinosaurs uh, and what you want to go for. So you've got this guy as well. This is, um, yeah, sorry, that was the Alangosaurus. Uh, I think that's what that's called. But there's also four, three more dinosaurs that are new. Um, haven't bumped into those ones just yet. Uh, so we'll, you know what, let's create the newest one. We'll create Dimorphodon. Or as it's known, of course, in the rest of the world, berries! <laughs> and it looks really good. It looks exactly like um, its Jurassic World uh, counterpart. With its huge T-Rex head on a tiny little flyer body. And because we might as well at least get it up to level 10. Um, I've got 243,000 coin because I've been saving. Um, but what I really want out of today's uh, little play session is to get up to uh, level 16. Because then I can do more darts on things and once you, when you request um, DNA in your alliances depending on what level you are that's how much you can order basically uh, to be donated from you so uh, th it's it's like so I don't know who said it uh, it was in a previous comment with the Dr. Wu stuff I was doing Jurassic World Evolution somebody said I feel like it's Jurassic Park month again all these Jurassic uh, videos going up um, and just to say if anybody is watching this somehow and is also likes the aisle um, don't worry, those series will come back. The same with Assassin's Creed. I'm so sorry. Um, just with the way I record and that's on a laptop, I'm having to use my laptop, uh, so the capture card for stuff like this. Um, and it just makes more sense for me not to move everything around. I will come back to it. We're, we're close to the end, I feel. We're close to the end, even though we're not. But you know what I mean. I'm having, I'm having loads of fun with the Doctor Who thing. I'm having loads of fun with Assassin's Creed. And I just want to say, like... It's a, I'm in a really good place, and I'm I'm playing things that I really enjoy. There's loads of really cool updates, um, and I just want to say thank you for all the support. Because so, sometimes I, I see a video, and maybe it doesn't do too well in views, um, but I don't know. Maybe it's it's messed up in a way. Because like it's, if I see it's got a thousand likes, I'm like, yeah, and I'm, that makes me happy. It's it's a weird thing, the YouTube syndrome, I think it is. Um, um, but when I see the comments there as well, and like the same comments over and over again, and like those sort of same commenters, not same co that's first. First all the time, it's always there. And I saw one that was like, this comment will be lost. And it was always top comment. I was like, really? 
<laughs> Please like this comment to save it. Um, I saw it the other day. I was like, no, you're deleted. And then in the next video, it was there again. I was like, oh, I can't stop it. <laughs> and somebody else, a regular commenter, put that in just to get like top comment. And then when read more, put the legit comment. I was like, you, you sneaky little, you know who you are. <laughs> um, so yes, I promised that we would do a unique creature or possibly a unique creature. <laughs> Don't construe my words. Um, and the unique creature is, drum roll, possibly this guy. Cause now I have 11,000 Dina Cherries. Cause I see Dina Cherries everywhere. The big fat dodo. Um, so we'll go to Dilarachius. Now, I have a minimum of 50 I could get from. Before I do that, I'm going to just do one final pop of this Dilaranosaurus. And when do you click it? That's right. When the jaw comes up on the third bite. So, are you ready? So, one, two, and ready, snap up. There we go. Okay, so that should be a good one. Technically, it could be 10. And it's 40. So, that gives us perfect 300. Six goes. <laughs> Almost. Um, so we, we could level up, but honestly, I don't, don't want to do that. I think working for a unique dinosaur is a good thing anyway, if I've got to be honest. Even though uh, the, this hybrid that I'm going towards, I think, uh, has technically been nerfed. That's what it loses. Uh, no, sorry, that's Magnipretator. That's right, that's the Dimetrodon, level 20. Okay, this one's not too bad. Okay, it hasn't been affected, apparently, according to MetaHub. Um... So, minimum we can get is 50, which is which would be a terrible shame to get 50, uh, especially after it's costing legendary DNA and thousands upon thousands of Dino So, first pop, come on, 20, not bad. If it's 20 every time, could be better. I'd love 100, so another thousand coin. Come on, come on, 30, that's better, let's keep going. So, we've got, we've got three more. Two, four, six, yep, three more, and I mean, you can't click it, so even if it is an animation thing, I'm wondering when you click on the animation. Is it a breathing animation? Is that a thing? Okay, 20 again. Okay, two more. We need 90. We need 90 DNA, and then we've got another unique hybrid. Please, please, come on. Just love me, please, please. 40? Oh, no, I need 50. It's not out of the realms of possibility. But it's, it's, it's very, I mean, we haven't got 50 so far. Come on, Lydia. Love me. Raptor Jesus, please. Ah, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm, okay, well, we got it next time. Next time we do a video, I'll save this. I won't get it off camera. And then we've got our second unique hybrid. Only took me, I don't know how long. Anyway, on to the new Lockwood. But I will, I, sorry, I, I will open the incubators and then we'll do battles. So don't worry, gotta do those. So before we get into the battles, uh, I just wanna go over other new things with the game. So there is now a daily quest things to get. So you will get one, two, three, well, eight bucks, eight bucks you could get. So that's, it's not too bad and some coin. Uh, and it just, it as well as going around collecting the daily events that are on, so the daily dinosaur, or the, you know, the, you know, buy daily dinosaurs that are out, uh, some treasure chests, uh, collecting this, like these missions, then doing battles, getting incubators, and not only that, achievements is another thing, and uh, also the defeat 10 creatures a day to get this thing. So I really like the way this game's going because there's so many different things to do I really like that. Um, it, in my humble opinion, <laughs> in my opinion, um, this is way better than Pokemon Go. It's dinosaurs, and yeah, Pokemon has dinosaurs, you know, but the battle, the battle, te like the whole system with speed, uh, it, it's basically Pokemon. And that's, like, Pokemon's in a, in a weird state at the moment. Pokemon doesn't want to be Pokemon, or, you know, battling and uh, type matchups and speeding and slowing and how to catch it. Like, well, Pokemon Go especially, and I think Let's Go is a bit like that. Um, but I, I really like the way this is going. Uh, I think it's underrated. I think in the big circles of mobile game players, it's not really played because it's kind of an awkward game to play. Um, because really, if I was to do the perfect Jurassic World Alive video, I would go outside, would go find epics every, like every video, then we'd come back, we'd do battles, we'd level up new creatures, we, you know, we'd, we'd do all of it, but it's, it's hard because unless you've got a camcorder, you've got a good microphone, you've got an iPad or whatever with recording equipment, a green screen, because it makes it look way more professional, and you've got 
uh, you know, it, it just takes a lot. It's it's hard for people to record. So, Ludia, I hope you appreciate me. <laughs> so we'll open up the three hour because I luckily uh, two days ago, I got another epic incubator. Every time I record one of these videos, I, I seem to not too long after I get a, a really good uh, incubator. So we can have anything. T Rex would be oh, really nice. Um, or Dina Cheris as DNA. I'm actually wanting that Dina Cheris, please. No, no, no. Dino, damn it. And, and we're under res. We're under res. Okay, well. Ah, it was so close. It was so close. Okay, Charlie, go away. Nobody likes you, Charlie. You don't have a high <laughs> Um, 84. Oh, Tyranodon has had a buff. Instead of 112 speed, it's now 127. That's a massive buff. I think Ludia wanted these flyers to be used. And unfortunately, they're still not quick enough. But with the switching ability and it's just general power, I think Tyranodon is... A, a big contender. <laughs> One question. Why is the last card rare? What happened? Oh, excuse me? Is Carnotaurus going to be enough, like, buff to an epic? What? I got jipped out. I got eight. I got 84. Hold on, look, a regular one, three, minimum, 331, epic DNA. I got, like, 81. Whoa, something just happened. Uh, Lydia, do you want to, like, just give me 200 odd DNA of something epic instead of a rare? <laughs> that, oh, wow, um, I didn't miss that, did I? That, that shouldn't have happened. That should have been an epic. Obviously, either Carnotaurus is supposed to be an epic, and that's why it misread it, or they've accidentally put Carnotaurus in the epic category. Either way, I just got gypped out of um, 200 and odd epic DNA. Thank you, game. Okay, well, who didn't see... I didn't... I definitely didn't see that coming, actually. That could have been a T-Rex. That could have been... Could have been anything. Damn. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, so other dinosaurs that we could probably start working towards is this guy, because... I don't really care about Utah Cineraptor. That Thoradolosaurus, this thing. I mean, they have to be level 20, to be honest. Is there anything that could be decent that we're working towards in battling? So the Paramolarch, not so much. It, it, it would probably have to be a legendary just with the coin I've got. Um, so the Gen 2 T-Rex is level 15 and level 15 of this guy as well. So... To be honest, I've already spent some coin on these dinosaurs, so I don't see why not. We've got 23,000, so it does need to be level 15. Uh, it would be interesting to see where the level... Because there was an event not too long ago, like, where certain rares you could catch. And there was a Gen 2 T-Rex, and I was thinking... Are we going to see, like, a, a, Gen, a Gen 2 T-Rex ever be useful? Uh, well, there you go, it is now. So... <laughs> Uh, it only costs like a couple of thousand, so it's not bad. We may as well get up to level 15, and that means we are going to definitely get that. And we could have a look to see if it's any good. 4,000 years. I'm just glad I didn't level up Stegodus. I knew it was going to happen. I knew the nerf was going to happen. Um, I didn't want to tell you guys not to level it up, because if you want to, it's up to you. Um, but I just had a feeling it was just too strong, like way too strong. So there you go. Level 15, Dilophosaurus Gen 2, with an extra 14,000 Tyrannolophosaurus. This thing looks awesome. Uh, and well, I don't know about this, because I, 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 like, even when I've seen it in the in the wild, in, in, in IRL, I just haven't really decided to get it. So, I don't know if we're gonna be able to uh, level it all the way up. He's not roaring either. That's interesting. Why is he not roaring? <laughs> Even the Dilophosaurus aren't roaring. Okay. Just got to... Uh, maybe it needs like a little patch, probably? So, 400. Um, we've got like 4,000 DNA. So, we probably can start getting it. Um, one more. Ooh, 750. Yes, definitely. Okay, so we are going to get the new Tyrannolophosaurus. Um, T-Rex and Dilophosaurus. I love Dilophosaurus. It's awesome. Okay, guys, I'm gonna exit out of this and maybe the audio will be fixed. We'll find out. Okay, so the new creatures that are in the game are Darwinopterus, which was in Jurassic World the game not too long ago, Diplodocus, and Miragaya, which is some sort of uh, Stegosaurus dinosaur. Um, so now we can finally get this. It is- ooh, it is! Ooh, it's quite heavy on the DNA. Um, Especially on the Gen 2 T-Rex. I can only do this 
Uh, 10, 15, 16, 17, 17, maybe 18 more times. So we should technically get it because um, that would be like 180 DNA. And since we've already got that big hit there. Uh, oh, and the 40. We're going to do this with the bloody Dina Cheras. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, oh, level 16. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we get one more DNA from the... Um, the daily incubator, whatever it is, which isn't really worth it, to be honest. Um, one time offer. So you got 500 bucks, 29,000 um, thingy. Oh, I forgot. Can I buy it? Is it possible? It's my, it's an Australian account. I might have some leftover change in here. Can I do it? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Never mind. Didn't have enough money. Can't get it. Um, probably should have switched over back to the English one. I might have bought that then because it was only like a fiver. Um, but anyway, I'm, I mean, I don't want to get into the habit of spending money on this game because like with all things, it's digital. If something goes wrong, you're going to lose your money. And the thing is, you don't think of it as money. You think of it as books. If you actually had like, like a hundred quid in your hands, you'd be like, oh, no, I'm not spending that. Um, but because it's digital, you're like, ah, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, it, it, it's a it's an unhealthy way of thinking about it. Um, I know he's talking to the guy who, uh, but I only spend, only spend it on the VIP, which I do, it does help out a lot, and um, the unique incubator, which I've never got before. So you know, I'm not crazy. So oh, now I'm getting tens. Okay, well, oh yep, yeah, we we can do it um, nine more times. And anyway, there it is, twenty, and we have the Tanalophosaurus. Are you ready, baby? Let's see you go. Oh, oh, you, oh, ooh, ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. That looks awesome. Tyrannolophosaur. So are you any good, son? And you've got another one. I, lo I love that. That's so adorable. It's got such a cute little face. I love it. Dilophosaurus, some sort of guanodon, and a T-Rex. Looks amazing. But we need to get this guy to level 20 before we attempt that. So he has Nullifying Strike, always good. Distracting Strike, which is good. Defense Shattering Impact and Defense Shattering Rampage. Okay. Um, so it doesn't... I mean, what's its speed and attack? Its speed is 108. It's more bulky. It has a lot of health. Um, I mean, for level 16. At level 20, it would be like in 3,000 and odd. And it would have a lot of attack. So it's a big hitter. It's definitely a big hitter. Okay. Uh, so where's your... In where's your... I was going to say, where's your internet? There's the animation. Okay, as you go up. How about that? Nope, it's not that one. See, this is it. we got to find out when uh, when this... I mean, it's the same as the T-Rex, so technically... And there you go. How about when your second raw biggest mouth? Could be. Could be that one. Um, right, let's give this one. Dum, dum. And when you're at the height of your raw? So there. How about that? When you're at the height of your raw? 20 DNA? Okay. We, we may as well, like, spend this DNA anyway, just because it, it only takes 100 to get it one more level. How about that? No, it's not the second roar. And maybe it's the first roar. Oh, it might be with the footstep. I never paid attention. So, roar at the highest. There you go. Ooh, getting closer. It's this one. When he takes a step back, like, boom. That might be it. So, ready? We'll do it in the step back. So... Boom. There we go. Okay, how about that? Nah, it's not that. <laughs> it definitely isn't that. Okay, well, 15,000 coin. May as well level it up. It gets a lot more health and over a thousand attack for level 17. Making it pretty darn good. And I might as well, while I'm here, like, find out where, where on earth... Oh, is it when his jaw snaps shut? Ooh, it might be. How many more attempts do I have? I have two more attempts. And then once we've done this, we're going to the Lockwood Manor. And step back. Is it the step back? I, it doesn't seem to be that step back. What are you? Where are you? How about with that bite? The second bite with it. Chomp. No, it's not that either. Okay, well, that is it. We, we didn't work it out wherever that was. Or we just got very, very unlucky. Um... So, um, you know, I kind of just want to try doing regular battles because we are actually really close to the next one up, which is the Avery at 4,500. Now, this used to be, I think, 6,000 or 5,000 cups. I think it was probably 6,000. But I think Ludia realized that nobody, 
nobody is getting up there who's a legit player, you know, or like, you know, not many people are. Not many legit players are getting up there and experiencing, you know, uh, the, the, the work that they've put in. So they decided to kind of nerf it. So let's see what we can do in the Lockwood Estate. Never seen it before, so this will be interesting. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I like it. We've got a fountain and everything. Ooh, I like the sound effects as well. That's quite nice. And here we go, Arena 9. Okay, with all these buff changes, I'm assuming we'll see fairly similar battles to what we normally are used to seeing. So we'll go, we'll, we'll start with Stegodus. Why not? Oh, there it is. Oh, and he's also got a Stegodus and it's level 24. Okay. So this is interesting. Because usually if you go second as a Stegodus, oh, really a Rampage? Oh, okay. Um, I, oh, because the armor piercing's not there, so I'm not really good against it, am I? Okay, so I'm going to take this as an opportunity to go for my shield. Um, I mean, really, the more Rampages you can hit off, the better, you would have thought. So he goes for that. He's probably going to go for his shield now. Um, so I'm going to go for a Thagomizer. Um, meaning that once he goes for his shield, yep, there it is, short defense. Playing it perfectly, not making a single mistake. The Thagomizer, uh-huh. The armor plus shield. Um, now he's probably going to cleanse himself, I would assume. So hopefully he goes first. Oh, he doesn't go first. Okay, yeah, he's probably going to cleanse himself. I have not played this too well because he's going to get, yeah, he's going to get that off. Then he's going to go for another rampage. And I haven't once got a rampage on him. So, oh, did it not work? Oh, maybe, oh yeah, it's a speed, of course. Superiority Strike doesn't nerf speed. I completely forgot. Okay, so we're gonna, oh yeah, he's killed me. Okay, so it could have been a lot better. I, uh, the, the, the meta for Stegodus has definitely changed. So uh, we're gonna bring in Indominus Rex. Right, okay, recording. Sorry, I don't know what happened to the lighting there. I just looked over and it was like, oh, it's dark. So I'm gonna go for this. Yeah, the short defense comes out. So all you missed is, oh, and the sun's coming back. So I'm gonna look really weird in a second. So I don't think, oh, I did kill him. Oh, yep, there it is. That, there it is. I think that's it. Well, anyway, here we go. Oh, a Megala Sutures. That's interesting. Ferocious Bite. Oh, he's probably killed me. Yeah, he's definitely killed me because he's level 22. Awesome just to see Indominus Rex there though in, in um, Lockwood Estate. So what can we really go for here? Um, nothing, if I've got to be honest, we've definitely lost this. A level, a higher level Stegodus, level 22s of these. Um, distraction plus 800, and then the short defense, so that's another 800. And Pyrotator is not looking too healthy here. So I may as well just go for a regular hit. Um, just try and kill it. Oh, oh, he's swapping. I was actually tempted. Really? Light again? Light? This, this, I, th I think it's, it's telling me it's time to stop. <laughs> you know what? Sod it. Oh, he's going to go for, yeah, instant distraction. Yeah, I think we've definitely lost this one. Uh, not going to lie. Oh, 202 plus he gets his medium counter and we're out. Well, well played. Um, well played, bot. You did, you did great. So... Unfortunately, lost some cups to that, but, oh, only 18 this time instead of 30-odd. Is that because he was a higher sort of, like, he had higher level creatures? It could be. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to go over all of those. We got level 16. We almost got a unique creature. Um, the Alliance is there if you would like to join it. And, uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye